Hey DIYers, Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we're going to go over how to set up the awareness response type on your Pro A7 Plus system. Uh, so this is a new feature. If you're on firmware 3.1868 or higher, uh, this is going to allow you to set up, it's pretty much a, a local notification on the panel, as well as a notification to Total Connect 2 if you have that paired. Uh, but this will not send out an alarm signal to the monitoring station. So for example, if you want to monitor a door, once it's opened, it will trigger a notification on the panel and to Total Connect. Uh, if you have a sound option set up, which we're going to go over in just a moment, it will play a sound on the panel. Uh, and then you're also going to have a notification showing on the panel screen as well until you acknowledge that. So it's going to continuously show there. So we're going to show how to set that up. We're going to test it. Uh, we're gonna go over a few of the sound options and then get that all set. Okay, uh, so now we're gonna review how to set up the awareness zone type. Uh, so for this, we already have a sensor programmed. So we're just gonna go in and edit it, change it to the awareness zone type, test it so you can see how it functions with the system as well. Uh, so for this, we're gonna go to the menu icon. We're gonna go to tools. And since we're doing programming, we're going to enter the installer code, which is 4112 by default. We haven't changed our code for this. We're going to go to programming. And then since it's zones, that's going to be under the peripheral section. And then we have our zones already programmed here. So we're going to edit the front door. We're going to scroll down until we get to the response type. And then here are the response types options. So we have awareness and 24 hour awareness. Uh, so again, the difference between these is that the awareness option, that's only gonna be active while the system is armed, either to arm stay or armed away. 24 hour awareness, uh, that's gonna have this active even if the system is disarmed. And again, what these do is that they set up a notification on the system when a sensor is faulted, but it does not send out a signal to the monitoring station. So if you don't want a zone alarm going out to the monitoring station for a specific zone, that's when you're going to use one of these two options. Uh, so for the video today, we're going to do 24 hour awareness. And then when we press that, you see a sound option popped up. We're going to press this. This is continuous trouble beeps, uh, alarm on siren or chime. Uh, so what the difference between these is, is that chime is going to be a three beep chime plus voice of the zone. Uh, so it'll do three beeps and for this it'll say front door. Uh, if we do continuous trouble beeps, uh, what's gonna happen is that we're gonna get a, essentially that, a continuous beeping sound from the system while the zone is faulted and that will clear once we correct the zone. So if you have a door set up for this, which is what we're doing today, while the door is open, we're gonna get the beeps. When we close the door, the beeps will stop. Uh, and then alarm on siren, pretty obvious on what that's going to do as well. It's going to trigger the full alarm sound from the system while the zone is faulted. Uh, so if you have a door that you're monitoring that you need to be notified about, uh, you can set it to alarm on siren. And again, while the zone is active, so our example, again, the door, while the door is open, that alarm is going to trigger. And then once we close the door, that's going to clear. Uh, and the panel will notify you for both the zone activating and the zone being corrected as well. Uh, so for this, we're going to do chime so we don't get just loud noises during the video. We're going to save that. We're going to back out of programming so we can test. All right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our door sensor. We're going to fault it. Front door. We have the Open. front door. And the difference on just a normal chime, if we didn't have this enabled, is that we don't get this option up here. So we can enter in our code. Oops. We're going to use the master code for this. Or is this the default? One, two, three, four. We get the front door notification there. And then we're going to back out. We're going to close the door. So door is closed. Front door open. Oh, let's try that again. We're going to close the door. Okay. 
So as you see, it is cleared from there, but we still get the alerts here. So that way, even if you miss this, you're still gonna see, hey, at some point my front door opened and then it closed. So we're gonna go there, enter the master code, one, two, three, four. And then there we go, we get our notifications. We get the timestamps of when that was triggered. We're gonna do acknowledge all, master code again. And perfect, so that cleared. And then just to kind of show you how it reacts for the other options, we won't do the alarm sound, uh, but we will do the continuous trouble beeps. So programming, peripherals. Again, this was our front door. We're gonna scroll, scroll till we get the sound option. Let's change that to continuous trouble beeps. Save, out of programming. Okay, let's fault the door. Okay, so we don't get the sound of the chime and we don't get the voice annunciation. Uh, so this is gonna continue to go. We have that all set, the door is closed. We're gonna acknowledge that. Okay, uh, and for that I did misspeak earlier. So for the trouble beeps and for the alarm sound, that's gonna continue until you do that acknowledgement. Uh, it's not gonna be like the chime option where it's just gonna go once and then stop. You're gonna need to have the door closed or whatever sensor you're using, have that uh, resolved and then acknowledge that to clear the, the actual sound from the panel. And again, this is not gonna send out any alarm signals to the monitoring station. It's just gonna alert us locally at the panel. Um, and then a really good sensor that you can set this up with is either the Pro IND MV or the Pro OUT MV. These are image sensors. Uh, so if you have it set up with this, uh, on the awareness zone type, you can also set up an option to capture a video clip uh, so if the detector detects movement, it can trigger a video. It will alert you through here like we just saw. It's still gonna do the sound option you play, and then you'll also have a video that you can view as well. We don't have those set up here, so we're just gonna use that door sensor as an example. Uh, but that is essentially the awareness zone types. And then again, 24 hour awareness is while the system is disarmed or if it's armed. And then just awareness is only when the system is armed. Uh, and either option is not going to send out an alarm signal to the monitoring station, it's just gonna notify you here. And another thing to mention, so the uh, Pro A7 Plus system, you can set up different partitions. So that's if you wanna uh, separately monitor different areas of say your home, uh, if you're gonna arm and disarm those separately. So if you have the awareness zone type set up for a sensor that is not on partition one, you're gonna get the option to have that sound option uh, either play to the assigned partition, the current plus the main partition, so that's the partition that the sensor is assigned to, as well as just partition one on the system. Uh, or you can have it set to only trigger on the main partition, again, partition one of the system. So depending on how you want that set up, you have a good amount of uh, customization options for this feature. Also with this, uh, you won't just be notified at the panel itself, you're gonna also be notified in Total Connect 2 if you have that paired with the system. So the notifications for our sensor opening and closing, uh, if you have those image sensors set up that I mentioned, you can have those clips sent to Total Connect as well. Uh, just in general, it's not gonna go out to the monitoring station, so just either locally at the panel and or Total Connect 2 if you have that set up. Okay, so that is the awareness response type. Uh, it's a pretty neat feature, as you can see, it's good if you wanna be uh, monitoring specific sensors, uh, have those image sensors set up as well, as we went over, uh, and not have any alarm signals sent out to the monitoring station. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified about any future videos we release. If you had any questions, feel free to contact us. Our phone number is 888-818-7728, 
We have an email address, which is support at alarmgrid.com. And if you check out our website, www.alarmgrid.com, we have a live chat option on there as well. So either way, reach out to us and we'll be happy to assist you. Again, my name is Dylan from Alarm Grid and thank you for watching.